Here I'll show you how to make a spaceship or a tank out of an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and a post-it note. We'll start by folding this paper in half hot dog style. Next we'll take the top right hand corner and fold it down to the left edge. Give that a good crease and then unfold. And now we'll do the same thing from the other direction. Take the left hand corner and fold to the right edge. Let's give that a good crease and then unfold. Now we're going to fold halfway through this X crease. Let's flip the paper over and then fold it back on itself. Make sure you line that up properly and give it a good crease and then flip it back to the other side. And now pull in with your two fingers and then push flat. And you have this triangle shape here. And now let's rotate to the other end and repeat the process exactly. Okay, now we're going to lift up these two flaps and take this edge and fold it in towards the middle. We'll rotate this and do the exact same thing on the other side. From this arrow shape here, I have two options. Make a spaceship or make a tank. We'll start with the spaceship. Take the corner of this flap here and fold it in towards the middle. And we'll do the same with this other corner here. This is going to be the cockpit of our spaceship. Now we're going to take the back end of our spaceship and fold it up towards the cockpit. And we're almost done. Now we're going to take these flaps in the back and pull them up so we can place the flaps from the front underneath them. And that's your basic spaceship. Now you can modify it by folding the flaps like so. You can fold these flaps on the bottom here. If you like, you can put some fins on the wings by folding them up as well. And there's your spaceship. Now let's go back to that arrow shape and I'll show you how to make a tank. From this base, we're going to take these flaps and fold them down on themselves. We'll do that on the other side as well. We're going to use this to make the tread or the tires of the tank. Now we're going to take this corner and fold in towards the middle but from the opposite direction that we did for our spaceship. And you don't actually want this edge to go directly to the middle. You want to leave a little space. It works pretty well if you use this angle as a guideline. We'll do the same on the other side. The barrel of our tank is going to fit right there in that gap. Okay, now we'll flip this over and fold this front end back on itself. And now we'll take this back end and fold it over to meet the front. Now we'll lift these flaps on the back up so we can slide the flaps from the front underneath them. Well, if you wanted a flying tank, I guess you could leave these flaps out like wings, but I generally tuck them underneath like so.
And believe it or not, we're almost done. But it doesn't really look like a tank until you pop the wheels out. You're going to want to put your index finger here, and then use your thumb to pull down and out on this tab, like so. And of course, we'll do the same on the other side. And finally, we get to use this post-it note. We're just going to roll it up into a barrel that fits into the gap that we made on our tank. And of course, you don't have to use a post-it note. You can use the same color paper or even something like a straw or a toothpick. If you actually use a straw, you can poke it all the way through the back of the tank and use it to shoot spitballs. Okay, with my barrel rolled up, I'm just going to slide that in like so, and I'm all done one paper tank. And let's not forget our spaceship. Now make a fleet of these things and go blow up some paper aliens.